Hey there, everybody. My name is Gavin Moore. Welcome back for another video of Old World. We're going to continue this series, boys. Now, uh, the other uh, basically uh, save file that I did for presenting the Empire did not load. It won't load because from problems with the mods and stuff like that. Uh, I went ahead and unequipped the mods and equipped again uh, them again. Uh, I'm gonna see if actually this works this time around. If it works or not, it doesn't. So see, it doesn't work. Mod path doesn't work. Uh, nothing at all uh, in there, so I can't do it. Uh, so we're gonna recreate it. Do exactly what we did last time. Roman Empire, Constantine, all this good stuff. All right, advance. We're gonna do Byzantine. We're gonna do seven opponents this time around. Realistic, high, absolute, candidate, able, passive, aggressive. Uh, barbarian strength. Uh, barbarian strength. I want them to be uh, weak, normal, weak. I do. I am gonna make them uh, so that they can attack, but they're gonna be weak. Aggressive for the AI and fledging for us. There we go. Points victory, time victory. So what is this? We got a new thing as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, instead of 200 years. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, let's see real quick victory from a, a 400 years 600 800 years we're gonna go as far as we can as, as we want uh, for this one huge map size alternate tech tree archetypes mods equipped on basically so studies trees and new attributes and 26 historical characters all right uh, Byzantine Empire different leaders mod Eastern Orthodox, all this good stuff. Uh, more turn, uh, more turns uh, mod. So more turns gives you more options to turn timer. Uh, just like the turn limit you want and play a long game. So yeah, obviously that's the, um, it's this right here. It's this one. All right, so I think we're just about ready to do it, boys. Let's do it and have some fun. Uh, this time around, I hope that um it's not i'm gonna be able to load the game the save file again afterwards because if i can't load the save file that's gonna be pretty bad boys choose my carefully uh so we already know what to do right here uh before all of that i do want to show you guys something uh something that i figured uh, uh i didn't know that uh, that was a thing in game there's actually cheat codes in game that you can use you go in there menu game editor and just like that hold on it's gonna pop up just like that. You've got all these little things you can pop up. Now, usually I don't use them for improvements or anything like that. What I use them is gonna, I can either, I'm gonna do it every five turns. Every five year, I'm gonna allow myself to uh, build, to basically uh, get a new thing, right? Either a technology, an upgrade for a unit, or a brand new unit. Uh, every five years or uh, maybe five years is a bit too much uh, is a bit too much either uh, I'm gonna do three years every three years I'm gonna have add a new uh, stuff I'm gonna be allowed to go in there and uh, do some modify uh, modifications all right just so it equips right it makes a little bit more fun we got some mods and everything uh, we are gonna just simply settle here uh, they do like we did last time Actually, this time around, this is growth. Now that we know this is growth, uh, what do we need the most? Gold, we're already gaining quite a lot of gold. Uh, training, I don't think I'm going to need training, but I think civics. Yeah, we need it. We kind of want to gain civics. Then again, no, I'm, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do like last time, growth, so we can uh, deal as much as possible. So, so now that we can... Uh, we don't need to focus on any of these uh, units. We can just pop them out every uh, so often. So what we're going to do, we're just going to focus on all these little things right here. Treasure, not really, not so much. We're going to focus on festival as much as possible. We gain uh, one of each uh, to first start it off, boys. So uh, we're going to work with the builder right here. We're going to uh, build the Aeon Gardens. There we go. It's going to give us a lot of stuff. So work with him and uh, yeah, there we go. The warrior, I'm just going to promote him right away. Promote him to combat. Uh, yes, I belong in the field of battle. My uh, general is going to be my leader, Constantine himself. And uh, I think we're good for the scout. 
I'm actually gonna add north this time around. So for the scout, we're gonna add north. We're gonna go here. Yes, I know that. I'm gonna harvest the sheep right here, make more uh, food and money. And there it is. I think uh, that's about it, right? Right. We don't have any more orders that we can do. Uh, we do have to choose a research. Uh, slingers, camps. Uh, we're obviously gonna go for slingers and camps. And uh, we can uh, skip the turn right here, boys. Skip the first turn. All right, so now, now that's done. We went ahead and skipped the first turn. Uh, what I can do is uh, I can upgrade these units. It's going to take 10 turns for him to do his thing. I can probably promote this guy. I can't promote my scout, so I can promote him, though. We are going to promote him. Uh, combat number two. There we go. So he just gets better and better. Uh, next unit would obviously be him. So we're just going to move on uh, towards this location, I guess. Oh, there we go. We got some barbarians right here, boys, that we need to take care of. So we're going to harvest some fur. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we're just going to unlock everything that's around this region right here. Uh, we're go uh, perfect for this. Still have 10 orders that we can give. Uh, we're getting a lot of to uh, gold per turn. Tyranny Constitution. My uh, ward is lost, so this would give us uh, more training and more happiness and also more money. But this would give us more uh, civics, which is what the, the one thing I need the most, really. It's civics, so I'm going to use civics for that. Uh, what about our thing? Are we we're progenitor right now? So I want to go into dynasty, uh, dynastic, boys. So it's, I'm going to need two more, 200 more civics for that. So we're going to have to work on that one. So my warrior unit, I'm just sending him right here for now. Uh, what about you, buddy? Uh, you, yeah, my scout, I just need him to move, though. I need him to move and uncover everything that's in here. We're going to move south now. There we go. Still have nine orders. So uh, let me see real quick. Uh, I don't want to get him too close to the barbarians because they're going to be able to attack me or, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to end up doing right here is game editor. What do we need uh, the most uh, right now? I feel like uh, maybe uh, get another unit, right? We don't really have a general or a son or anything, uh, anybody that could help us out. I think uh, we should probably, what is that? A disciple. No, it's theology. So I can't just, I think I'm just going to go for another warrior, uh, a worker. Yeah, I think I'm just going to build another worker, boys. Uh, right here. There we go. So just spawn another worker right here. And we're going to start working on all these things, uh, really. Merc uh, make urban. Not entirely sure what urban means, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. But I kind of intended to try it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to buy. Uh, just buy some. I think old shift. There we go. That should do it. And there we go. Just waste some money to buy that. And uh, we just build it uh, an urban place right here. I'm not entirely sure what that means. But that's okay. I guess we can get some garrisons in here uh, as well. We can only build one. So let's skip another turn. All right. So we've just uncovered a new civilization, which is Carthage. So we've got Carthage that's right over there. It's pretty far away from us. Well, not that far, but it's still long ways ahead so we don't need to worry too much about them uh this guy right here now that he's done with that i think i just want to go for mining uh would give us uh i guess steel and stuff like that or we could go for food i'm going to go for the farms just because it's going to upgrade our population anyways and uh more population is better i guess for us really it always is uh like that so Next unit, it's this one. We need to uh, start attacking these barbarians right here. There we go, attack them. There we go, we dealt some damage right here, boys. So, we're doing good. We're much better than them, if you see right here. 4.6, 4.3, actually, it's pretty close. But we do have combat 3, so we should be all right. And what about our scout right here? We're moving him out to this direction. Uh, we got some stuff we can harvest, some horses. There we go. That's fantastic. And uh, let's go on this way. There we go. Still got some orders here and there that we can spend, but I don't have anything to spend them on. 
Uh, right now, it looks like uh, the King uh, Al Nisar, uh, which is right there, by the way. He's uh, right there uh, doing scout things. I don't want to upset him or anything. Uh, he's already upset by us by minus 20, so I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do. We're in the next turn. Turn 6 is going to be when we're going to be able to spawn another unit. So right now we can't really do anything too much. In one turn we're going to have a festival done. Which is going to give us plus one of culture per turn. Already that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use him. So there we go. Next turn he's going to kill him off. Kill that unit off. So there's uh, already that. How much of XP does he have right now? How's my unit doing? So that's the XP obviously to level up. That's the XP they gain. They don't gain a lot of XP per turn. That's interesting. Uh, next thing, I guess it's my scout, really. We just got to continue. We got another one. Another barbarian camp. So I am going to need to uh, get myself another warrior unit or something like that. So, uh, something along those ways. I got to be careful with my scout. He can't defend himself. I, we, I don't want to lose him or anything. Let's uh, skip another turn again. All right. So there's been some fighting here, obviously. We're going to finish the job off. There we go. Finish these barbarians off. And that's pretty much it. So good job by my units right here by my my leader. Finish them off uh, big and uh, in a nice way. Uh, what I am going to end up doing is this guy. We need to move him up. We do have an event right here. Let's take care of that. Heaven and Earth. A temple stands atop the crest of the highest hill. Its stair is decorated with bright metal and ceramic. Local legend marks this site uh, as where heaven and earth meet, where all life began. Of course, the only way to see its wonders is to inhale some of the mind-altering plants around, along the hillside in an ancient spiritual ceremony. The soldier brings you a bowl of this strange powder, but he seems hesitant about its effects. My mind is open. That will give us more culture and more civics. Interesting. And I want no part in such rituals. That will give us more money. I don't need money. I think uh, these. this is... Why not? We can try. There's nothing we can really lose aside from our leader right here. So, uh, let's see what we got. So, we finished this one off. We're just going to continue with festival. We're just doing festival all the time, boys. That's the one thing we need to do all the time is festival. Upgrade this uh, city's culture, uh, really, as much as possible. Uh, all this is done. Uh, we do have a marriage offer. We are 39, so it was about damn time because we uh, we need a, a child and quick. Uh, Martina or Yolanda. So let's see. Martina has minus one science, but she does have plus 10 of civics. The other one has courage, so she can be uh, a, a military girl. I feel like, uh, well, I need civics, obviously. So I need civics, so... I'm going to have to pick the other one. I'm going to have to pick this wife right here. Queen Consort. Either, uh, other, uh, either, even though the other one was clearly better. I feel like uh, that was the only option I should, uh, I, I could have chosen right there. Uh, let's uh, see really quick what we got. Hold on. I, I want to close this because I'm not in the right direction. I want another warrior unit. I feel like as soon as my population grows up. Alright, it's population 3 right now. I don't think I need to get a settler just yet. I think I can just work on another. I can get myself another uh, unit, military unit. I think I'm just going to get myself another uh, warrior unit. Why not? So let's just get myself another warrior unit right there. Close it up. Uh, we can probably uh, do something with him. Uh, we're just going to use him to kill that... Uh, that's sight really quick. Alright, he did did he lose a lot of health? I actually didn't lose any health. Yes, yeah, when they get attacked that they lose health, not when they attack themselves. Uh so they they did uh, gain uh, quite a bit of stuff. So in the next turn we're gonna be able to upgrade them. This guy, it's my scout. We need to move him up. Make sure that there's nobody around. Oh, I might have uncovered the neighbors. Alright. You have contact with the Egyptians. What is our demeanor as you approach them? Humble, you speak little. Uh, more opinion for them. Uh, prideful. Humble. Let's uh, let's be humble. There we go. I speak little of my people. 
so they've got a lot of opinions a uh, high opinion of me i want to be friends with my uh neighbors boys for right now at least i do not want to engage in any wars i only have two warrior units so i don't want to do anything uh, stupid we're in the next turn turn seven already it's, it goes fast this game uh really the turns will go really fast so that's why we got to go back uh, i'm gonna head back with him there you go just head back and heal yourself up buddy as much as possible and you while you're at it is there anybody else well i don't really need you all right now so you're heading back as well my units my military units i'm just gonna keep them like that uh you you're just gonna i guess look around right here uh, look around this place. Harvest some elephants. We got another event coming up. King's Road. Our expedition comes upon an impressive pa paved road system leading between wood structures that have long since rotted away. The engineering required to build such a site was far ahead of its time. Uh, break down the roads for stone. Acquire label. No. Study the technology. Just so we get the technology right away. There you go. Free technology just like that, boys. That's awesome. Uh, I do have a place to send my units uh, after all. I'm going to send them over and take care of these barbarians. And I think that's pretty much it for this turn as well. Uh, five turns, one more turn for this guy and four more turns for this for it to be done with a festival. All right, we're in the, uh, this turn, boys. One of our uh, workers is done with his things. Uh, we got a farm done, which is really good. We can start adding roads now because we do have the technology. So uh, what I do want to do is I'm going to start adding uh, some uh, a road system. He's going to build the roads. He's going to be building roads all across here to connect with the Egyptians, really. That's what I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do is connect with the Egyptians. Uh, actually, I'm going to promote this guy. Now that I think about it, I'm just going to promote him. To combat there we go before moving him up and the uh, next thing i think that's pretty much it that we can't do anything with him uh this guy we're just gonna heal him up heal our uh general uh next unit it's obviously our scout so our scout i'm gonna go on this side because i'm afraid that they might attack me they actually have two units marauder infantry unit not as good as the uh, the skirmisher, I guess, but it's still pretty good, uh, a pretty good unit. So I got to be careful with my scout. I don't want to lose it. Uh, since we're finished with these resources, uh, researches, uh, we can actually go for another one. Which uh, which one we want to have? That's for another time. Maybe shrine, because it will it would give us a couple of cultures that we can build and stuff like that. All right, next turn. This is a ninth turn, which means. We can build a unit, boys. But before that, uh, I don't have anything right now. Uh, I don't know if I want a military unit or something like that. I can either I could upgrade them as well, but uh, I don't feel like I need to upgrade them or anything. I'm gonna move him right there, make him fortify. We don't need him right now to do anything. Uh, you are just gonna continue to work on those things right here. Work on these roads. There we go. You're just going to work on these roads. You can see them right there. The roads are being caved in. You, I guess, we do need to add a general to you. Uh, now, who do I want to add? I could add my queen, but she's not good at fighting. She's definitely not good at fighting. So she wouldn't be any good. Uh, I'm instead, I'm just going to do uh, this guy, right, to be a general and stuff like that. I'm just going to add this guy. Uh, we do... Now, I don't need any more workers. I think I'm good with two workers as of right now. Uh, another settler could be good, actually, because we do have four of population. So another settler could be good, boys. It could work out for us. Uh, militia is not really that good. So I'm thinking we could go for a, singer, a slinger as well. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we got, what we want to uh, get. Tex, maybe. We're going to get ourselves a shrine. Uh, that's what helps the most with culture and civics. I, I am going to allow myself to build improvements like these. Some shrines and stuff like that. Unless there's something better. Holy shit, these actually give us uh, plus five. These give us a lot. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. So temples. Hold on, before I equip the shrine right there. 
uh the cathedral some jewish stuff no some temples let's see plus three but uh, it's minus two per stone though now i think uh the best option would be the either a shrine like this which is plus five culture overall or just this which plus two civics and culture we're gonna go for uh this first and we're just gonna build it uh, i guess in the woods uh always better like this there we go we got a shrine just like that we got a shrine going on and um i guess that's pretty much it really so just as easy as that we got a shrine which gives us another plus two and another plus two in civics as well we're gaining a lot of uh civics and stuff like that All right so that's good so that's what i used my turn for my special turn i didn't i didn't think i needed to uh, get any units per se as of yet I could have waited a little bit, and that's what I did, boy. I waited just a bit more. All right, guys. Oh, there we go. Another one. Uh, our scouts encounter a party of Parsians. Soldiers wiping a man bound by his wrists and ankles. The warriors accuse the man of inciting rebellion, of stalking members of the royal family, and attempting to infiltrate the treasury. However, the victim insists that he is innocent of the crimes. Uh, follow their advice and move along convince the Parsians to release him we don't we do not have any courage we don't have enough courage uh, at all we don't have any uh, at all actually fight them for possession uh, possession of the prisoner i'm just going to move along uh yeah i'm just going to move along i don't think i should piss them off right now i don't think it's the right time to do that sort of stuff right i think we should wait it out so we did uncover the Parsians. And plus, they're a little bit happy with me. I don't want to piss anybody off right now. Instead, Carthaginians are the ones who are a bit pissed off about me already. So, Diplomats from Egypt seek the court recognition. They claim that their ruler respects Byzantine and humbly wishes to establish relations. Welcome then with all plenty uh, harms that would give us more civics. Yes, of course. Welcome them. There we go. I'll, I'll welcome them. I'm more than happy to... Uh, to uh, help you out, buddy, to be with you. But we still don't have a child. I'm already uh, 42 years of age. She's 35. Hopefully she gives me a child uh, soon because this is getting uh, rough, man. We're going to get uh, old soon. We need a child. We need to choose our first ambition. Kill five enemy units. It's always that one I'm going to choose. What is this? Build a camp. We can do that. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's build a camp really quick. I know I'm building. I was building roads and stuff, but uh, if I can build camps, I'm gonna do it. Uh, that looks like a good thing to do. Uh, minus 800. Okay, so we're getting there in terms of stuff. Uh, what about you? We can't upgrade you either. Are you, I was sending you towards this place though. Yeah, we're gonna start to attack these guys. And uh, same thing for my general, really, since there is two of their units. I am going to send these guys right there. There we go. Two, uh, my two armies. I'm going to send them there. Military units. Uh, you are going to be sent over here, I guess. And just uh, uncover everything. I want to uncover everything the right way. So harvest some horses. I think I am going to need eventually a new city. So I think my next objective here is... Because I, as soon as it gets to population 5, I should already have another city, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, get another city. The, a settler is going to be my next objective, boys. So uh, let's uh, let's get that working as soon as we can. Uh, let's end the year. I don't think I have anything else going on. Yeah, he still can move, but technically we don't, ha we don't have any more stuff. I don't want to use that, so let's just uh, skip forward. All right, so they both attack the same unit, which was this unit right here. I'm going to attack with him. And I'm going to go ahead and attack. Go right here and attack with him. We're going to attack the same unit as well. Do the same tactic for them. Uh, you are going to move towards here. And you're going to get that thing. Hold on. We do need to choose a production. So it's plus five right now. The culture over there. Uh, as soon as it gets. We need it to get as close as possible to at least something respectable. Uh, treasury. Uh, we could go for that, but we're gaining a lot of gold. Already we got plenty of gold. Uh, console. Can we actually... 
no, the council was only getting us uh, gonna give us things. I feel like really the only thing that's important in this one is definitely that, right? It gives us everything. So I think uh, that's the one thing we need to work on. In one turn, we're gonna have the Oracle, which is another plus, uh, not, not Oracle, the Engen Gardens, which is another plus, it's a plus for science and it's a plus for culture. It's a lot, boys. That's uh, really a lot and that's gonna really help us out tremendously in the long run so these guys are healing up i think we're good so it's just this guy really quick that we need to take care of let's see real quick you're known as the explorer all right what is this ancient site or expedition comes upon a site that looks like the ceremonial capital of some ancient world an altar centers the court and 10 thrones sit on each side interesting raise the city we could use a stone Nah, i'm not going to do that that would give us science, but uh, less money. And what about this? More money. I don't feel like I too much about the science because I can upgrade it myself. So I think uh, I'm just going to, on a holy side, we're offering them to the gods. Yeah, I'm just going to do the third option right here. There we go. More XP for me as well. So more the better. We got a lot of barbarian camps right here, boys. Uh, looks like this place is far from... Uh, unoccupied legitimacy tutorial i'll show them who's legitimate yeah uh 30 of legitimacy so we got it's on question right now all right we definitely have the biggest legitimacy out there all right so the aim gardens has been completed as you can see right here which means we're at plus 11.6 culture per turn fantastic next turn we're going to be population five definitely we need a settler right now boys we need a settler uh, this guy is working on this. Uh, now that this done, this is done. We could work on the mines or the farms or stuff like that. But I want to continue to work on the roads really quick. Yeah, colonize. We could colonize right here, but I'm just going to do add uh, the road system. There we go. Just continue work on the road system uh, over here. Uh, you are going to attack this guy. There we go. He's going to take him out. All right, so that's perfect. And uh, I need to heal him up though. That's the thing, right? right. I really need to heal him up. I'm gonna work on this guy. Promote, oh, we can promote him. Shield bearer, so plus 10% uh, range. Or versus tribes, I guess. I'm gonna do this one, a steadfast. Versus tribes is gonna be better. There we go, so we do have an upgrade. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of worried about my other uh, guy right here. So I might be just, Tempted to level him up again so he, gain, he gains some health or stuff like that. But I, I don't want to waste my special thing just for that. Uh, let's see what we can get right here. So we're definitely going to do units this time around. I wanted a settler. That's what I wanted anyway. So we need to go for the settler because that's the one thing I needed the most. And yeah, well, yeah, we got him. So the settler, we can either settle here. We can settle on the north, but I think we should go. I think we should go on the north right here, boys. It's there's nobody here. We took out the barbarians that were here, so it's. I think it's the best. Uh, the best option is to go right there. Uh, so that's uh, what we're gonna do. I, I I might have to send the road system actually. Have another builder going on, right? Uh, have another builder constructed, uh, built up, so. Fastly build up so I can get the roads going right there as well. Uh, next unit, you're gonna just continue to go right here, uncover uh, some stuff. Actually, that's my, that's a military unit that I just uncovered. That's great. Let's promote him. There we go. They just gave me a free military unit. That's good. That's really good, boys. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, I guess I pressed it by accident. Okay, I probably pressed it by accident. That's my bad. We're not going to count that, though, as a cheat, right? I don't want to count it, so. Uh, harvest. We can't harvest the, for the horses or anything right now. We don't have any more Arden, uh, stuff. And Gardens is done, plus two legitimacy, plus, plus everything, really. So we're getting a lot of stuff per turn. It's really good, boys. What can I say? Uh, we're doing really good. So one more turn. Uh, 38 years of age. I'm 45. We still don't have a child. What's going on? All right, last turn for us. I am gonna 
send back this army right here. I need to heal him up. Send him back because he needs to heal up big time. Uh, you are just going to attack. There you go. Take care of these barbarians. And uh, you, uh, you're going to you're gonna go there. And you're going to attack as well without the general. You don't need the general per se right now for do to do this. I'm going to equip you with a general in the next turn. Uh, so that's that. So these barbarians are taken care of. Uh, you are gonna go here. I think uh, a city site, city site right there. Perfect. Let's find a new thing right there. Population. Same thing, really. Yeah, I think uh, we're just gonna do that. Ah, there we go, boys. So hurts us for the uh, the legitimacy, but that's fine, anyways. We do have a barbarian camp really close by, though. You gotta be careful about that. Let's get the festival going right here. And uh, that's pretty much that. Roads. I think I'm going to start working on roads for this uh, this side right here, actually. Yeah, we're going to start working on roads for this side. And uh, for the next unit, which is uh, this one, my scout. I'm just going to go here, boys. There we go. It can't move any further. We don't have any more things. Neighbors, merchants from Egypt offer to trade us materials. What do we trade with them? Uh, so for uh, f for works of art produced by our potters, painters, and sculptors. What do we want exactly? What do we need the most? I feel like uh, stone is what we need the most right now. So we're just going to get the stone. All right. That's gone and good uh, for. We actually have enough uh, civics right now to make another uh, thing. So make it so it's dynastic. There we go. Dynastic. There we go. Now we change the legitimacy. We still don't have any child. We're not popular. For some reason, we don't have any fame around us. That's not good. Uh, we do. We are doing a good job, in my opinion, as a leader. We're attacking, right? We took out a bunch of barbarians everywhere. But uh, we still a lot of popping off. We do have the second city we uncovered uh, that we built up. So two cities already uh, for this, which is Adrianople for the second one so that's good really good it's population five for this city so every so often whenever there's a population five for the uh, it, it jumps by uh, five populations for one city i get another city right i'm going for the settler so it's going to take a while for this one to get that obviously already gains plus 15 per turn right uh it's probably because of that that's plus 20 so a lot of growth, boys. Anyways, I'm just going to end it right here. Uh, not a lot of things happening. Divination, we're going to have it in the next two turns, two years. Uh, it's taking its sweet ass time because we don't have a lot of science. But that's okay. It's going to get there eventually, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.